So my grandmother died of colon cancer when I was 13 years old. And during that period, I remember witnessing my mom being very confused about how to get my grandmother through this period and what is the best, what are the best ways to take her through this time so that she would survive. Um, and that experience has taught me how difficult it is. It's a very, very difficult word to hear. And, but it doesn't need to be. You just need the right support system and the right assurance. The word cancer is a horrible thing to be told that you have. And this is what the patient navigator should try to help that person realize what, what is the next question you should ask and what is it, do we have the resources to take it along? So the Caribbean Cancer Research Initiative, or CCRI, is a non-profit organization um, that was co-founded by me and one of my colleagues uh, with an aim to improve patient outcomes, cancer patient outcomes in the Caribbean, and to prevent more cancers. But the avenue that we're using to do this is entirely through research. So we are trying to set up research-based um, or data-driven initiatives and projects, of which our patient navigation project is one of them. Kimberly approached me um, telling me about this project and saying, you know, really what the, the local situation is that cancer is one of the biggest problems that we have in Trinidad and the system for supporting cancer and cancer diagnosis and cancer treatments is really sort of unknown and we don't really have any sort of analysis of what is going on on a local level in terms of how we approach this, um, this problem. So this project is important because it is an innovation that will save patients' lives. It will improve um, cancer patient outcomes in the Caribbean. It will remove all of the barriers that a person will experience once they are diagnosed with cancer so that they can have the best possible outcomes. Patients, when they find out that they're diagnosed with cancer, often have no idea how to navigate the medical system, the scientific literature, the genetic testing, they have no idea what the process is. And so what they really need is someone to sort of help hold their hand and walk them through that process, let them know what their options are and what are the next steps now that you have this diagnosis or now that someone in your family has this diagnosis. Once a patient gets diagnosed, um, the plan is for the patient navigator to pick up these patients automatically once there's a diagnosis of cancer. There's a lot of things that need to be done and there's a huge, great, great need for a patient navigator. There are a lot of patients, there are a lot of people out there that need help. Money is the last thing that I trust that can get anybody through cancer. So it really is going to help, we think, to have someone both in person and online helping you navigate the entire medical system and all of the information that you need to get, all the processes that need to be done, and what you as a patient need to do to really drive your treatment um, forward. So the second part um, of our project is what we call a virtual or web-based patient navigation program. So for those people who do not have access to a, a personal patient navigator, um, this is a tool that will be able to allow you to basically understand what you're about to go through in the simplest format. And the reason why I thought this was useful is because if you go, when you get diagnosed, if you go online to try and figure out what does this mean, what, what do I do next? A lot of the information is very heavy. It's, it's a lot of text to sift through, and a lot of times um, you don't understand. So we, we, we thought of a method in order to take all of that information and make it into something a little bit more seamless and simple. I mean, cancer research is a huge thing in, you know, North America and Europe. Um, there's a lot, a lot of money that goes into this and a lot of a lot of amazing discoveries in terms of diagnosing and treating cancer. 
um, have come out of that, but we, for some reason in the Caribbean, have not invested in cancer research. Kimberly has decided that she wants to, she has this one mission, to understand the cancer situation in, in Trinidad and Tobago, and that was the context in which I met her. But deciding to work with someone, especially a long-term relationship, like a, an advisor, a PhD student one, um, means that you have to really like each other and you have to, to be able to, to stand this person for many years to come, right? Um, I, I really like Kimberly. I think she has a great energy and, and, and her passion for her work comes through on a daily basis. She's an extremely hard worker. Um, she's very smart. She knows what she's about. And I mean, those are all qualities that I, I, I like and I respect. She's been able to rally, you know, now, maybe 20 something volunteers um, from all sorts of different areas um, and she just really like pulls holds the whole thing together I mean she she's there she's she's in it she's she's really committed to this